Open source is software that's developed by the community and freely available to download. Anybody can contribute and enhance the software and release it back to the community for the benefit of the end users. Proprietary software is developed by internal teams with a corporate agenda. Those internal teams drive the features, the roadmaps and the bug fixes and this is where it really differs from open source. With open source, the community can drive those features. The community can drive those bug fixes. If there's something that's a high priority to you, you can have that resolved quickly with open source. Whereas in the proprietary world, we have to go back to the vendor and wait for a solution to be developed for our specific needs. You'll find open source is used pretty much everywhere. If you look through the categories of applications, you'll be able to find an open source piece of software to meet your needs. From web servers, operating systems, Android on their mobile telephones, through to telephony solutions, both at the PBX level and at the telecoms provider carrier level. If we look to proprietary software vendors, you'll find elements of open source, if not large components of open source within their solution. And why wouldn't you? If something's been developed, it's been used and tested by the community, it's stable, it works well, why would you redevelop that at your own cost? I think one of the biggest benefits of open source software is you free yourself from the vendor lock-in. You're free to work with external components, external hardware that isn't provided by the vendor. You're free to develop your own features if it's not provided by the vendor. If we look to some of the large open source projects, such as Apache, such as Asterisk, you'll find that they're incredibly active and features are being developed by the community all the time and releases come almost on a weekly basis. I think there's a myth surrounding open source software that in some way it's less reliable, less secure, or has less features than proprietary software technologies. Open source software has reached a point where it's incredibly stable, incredibly secure and incredibly feature rich. It's developed by a far larger community of developers, it's tested by a far larger community than proprietary software ever could be. Open source software makes integration simpler. Because open source software works with open standards, we can easily integrate it to external components. Making our telephone systems talk to our CRM systems is very simple. If done correctly, open source can add a massive amount of value to an organisation. It can provide them with a product that has a lower total cost of ownership, is very feature rich and very tightly coupled with the business processes and business systems. If you're planning to use open source, there's a few things you should consider. Just because open source is available free of charge, it's available to download without any cost, doesn't mean it's not going to cost your organisation to deploy it and to maintain it. You need to think about the skills you require to deploy the solution and the skills you require to maintain the solution going forward. Whether you're going to source those through internal staff, which obviously has a cost, or whether you're going to look to an external organisation to provide those skills for you. If we're looking to work with telephony solutions, we need to remember that the skill set can be quite unique. You need to know what you're doing with telecoms. You need to have some experience to know how to work with SIP, how we can uh, securely integrate this into our network and to the outside world. You need people who have experience of using SIP technologies, of ISTN, who know how to integrate quality of service and make sure that packet transmission over your networks happens reliably and in a timely fashion. So when you're considering your open source project, these are our top tips for things you should consider. Firstly, think about your technology selection. Look around at the community sites, make sure the product you're choosing and looking at is part of an active community, there's plenty of development going on. Make sure there are referenceable case studies. Secondly, you should look at a skills audit. Make sure you understand 
what skills are required to deploy the project you're looking at. You should look at your integration needs. What is it your system needs to talk to? If you have an in-house system that speaks one protocol, you need to make sure that your project selection will communicate effectively. You need to think about support. Once your project's deployed, where will you get the ongoing skills and resources? Take up references. Look around for other companies and case studies that are using the same technology that you intend to use. Look at your deployment resource. Consider how you're going to deploy this. Whether you're going to do it in-house or whether you're going to work with an expert partner to deploy the solution. Finally, before you embark on your project, make sure you build your business case. Working with open source technologies should make this simple. In summary, we'd conclude that open source software is a comparable alternative to proprietary software technologies. If you have a project going forward, we'd urge you to consider open source as part of the proposition.